Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Gourmet's Delight and this is Pfizer. If you like my recipe, please do subscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you a very very instant and a one pot dish when you have any guest all of the sudden you can definitely go with this. It's very easy to make. It's a tangy tomato pasta. So let's get started. I have kept a pot on medium high flame. Now into this I'm going to add around 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. If you want you can also go with butter. The oil has started to heat. Now I'm going to add one large onion finely chopped. Let's saute this well until the raw smell from the onion fades away. To this I'm going to add 200 grams of uh, chicken boneless strips cut into strips. I'm going to add this. It's a very simple dish and very uh, you can prepare it very quickly. It's an instant one pot dish. To this I'm going to add 1 tablespoon garlic paste. 1 tablespoon ginger paste. So let's saute this well. One teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon allspice powder, one teaspoon coriander powder. Mix this well, and I'm going to cook this for uh, 40 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds. I want all the spices to blend well with the chicken. To this I am going to add puree of 2 tomatoes, medium sized tomatoes, I am going to add it. I am going to cook this for uh, 5 minutes, 4 to 5 minutes. I want the raw smell of tomato to fade away. I am going to cook this on medium flame, salt as required. So it is almost 5 minutes. Now I'm going to add my pasta. You can use any pasta of your choice. I'm going to use penne pasta. I have added around uh, 300 grams of penne pasta. I'm going to mix this well. Now I'm going to add some water to this. So totally I have added around one and a half liter of water. Now let's cook this. I'm going to keep I'm going to cover this and cook on high flame. I'm going to cook this until the water gets drained completely. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes. So let's check our uh, pasta. So this is done. It has to be uh, saucy in consistency. At this point, I am going to add around 2 to 3 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. I am going to stir this well. And now I am going to add, you can add any cheese which is available in your house. I am going to add some processed cheese. Uh, this was available at my house so I am going to add this. I have ar added around uh, 4 cubes of uh, cheese. These, these are the cheese chiplets and along with this I had some cheese slices in my house. Cheddar. So I am going to add even this to this. Who doesn't love cheese? Creamy and cheesy. 
so I'm just going to give it a quick stir and I'm going to turn off the flame. As this is hot, the cheese will melt automatically. So let's do the plating for our pasta. So our pasta is ready for the garnish. I'm going to grate some mozzarella cheese on top of this. You can add any cheese. If you have parmesan, you can also go with that. I'm going to sprinkle some chili flakes. And lastly, some chopped parsley. So this is my tangy tomato pasta. It's also creamy and cheesy as well. If so, if you like this recipe, please do subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends and family too.